Okay, I'm Joe Orenja, and this is my business, Joe's Gym, uh, Erie, Pennsylvania, current world champions. I'm a veteran, I'm on Social Security, and I'm a businessman. I've been undefeated world champion since 1993. I, I have members in here from uh, right now, the youngest one is nine, the oldest one is 96. And they all come in here because I teach people how to get their life back. The only way you're gonna get your life back is get your strength back. I wanna see Erie the way it used to be. We've gotta get our manufacturing back. For the sake of my children and grandchildren, I hope something happens. Do you want to hear from the next president of the United States, Donald Trump? So Erie has lost nearly one in three manufacturing jobs. You know that, all I you do, I flew over. You're looking at the plants, but you see them. They're falling over. The rain, the sleet, the snow, the wind. These are great buildings that are falling apart. So Erie has lost a lot, right? You know that, right? Hang in. Don't leave. I promise. We can fix it so fast. We're going to bring it back. We're going to bring back our jobs. We're going to bring back our companies. Fifties and sixties, when I was a kid, it was awesome. I lived on the uh, east side of town, but there was a lot of woods and stuff. We were always playing, outside playing. And my dad raised seven of us kids as a coal miner, worked his butt off. He moved up here when I was one years old to go to work at GE. My brothers and my nephews, they all worked at GE. Uh, they wanted me to go down to GE, but I said, I like this physical stuff. Because I was a bridge builder, iron working bridge builder, a local 348 union. I was one of their best climbers, so I always got the job of putting the buildings together, which was fun. You climb up the column, big piece of steel comes up, you bolt it up, you walk out, unhook the cable, and stand there and wait for the next piece. And then I, went to, I got drafted, went to Vietnam, came home from Vietnam, got into the weightlifting because you've got to handle this heavy iron all day. And then I had the gym part-time at the time. Coming into the 80s, a lot of manufacturing. We had GE, we had Hammer Mill Paper Company. Everybody had good jobs, everybody had good paying jobs. You know, I, I need a car, I had the money to go buy one. I was making my house payments, feeding the family. Even when I, when I retired from the iron work, I didn't have to retire. They didn't want me to retire. I says, I want to run a gym. I want to get my gym going. Okay, put, put it back, I'll, I'll lower it a little bit more. I put up the, the big buildings for the Hammer Mill Paper Company, 10-story buildings in here. I put them up. I was the connector. I put these, yeah, I had fun like, looking over. I could actually see Canada from the top of the building at night. Sometimes we work night shift. I'm looking, I could see the lights in Canada. I loved it. They're gone. They tore them buildings down. All them buildings I put, they're gone. I'm, I drive by down there the first day when they said they tore them down. I go by, I go, oh my God. I, that was one of the, couple of the best years of my life working down there, putting them up. They're gone, and uh, the people are gone. It seems like the, about the last 15 years, things have really sucked, because a lot of people are leaving the area because the manufacturing jobs have left. There's no work. And I used to see all these guys walking down the street with their lunch bucket in their hand, going to work. Now you see them walking down the street with food stamps. I had a lot of members here from GE. I don't anymore. I think I have two. A lot of them left Erie. They're not even around Erie anymore.
My wife runs a business. She owns Custom Audio right up the road here. My son owns a business. He's got a big landscaping business. So my family's all small business people. The minimum I put in here is eight hours a day. Last night I was here 14 hours. My wife puts in minimum of 60 hours a week and sometimes 80. We have to. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm Sandra Lee Arangia. I've owned an electronics store for 33 years. A couple years ago, I really cut back on the staff. Um, and we're just, we're really lean right now. And I think a lot of business owners are treating their businesses that way. What's happening to Erie is GE is transitioning down to uh, Texas and Mexico. So those really good paying jobs will be leaving. Some of the other shops can't afford those higher paying jobs. They can pay well, but not as well as what some of the other workers, you know, GE are used to. Joe's gym. Yeah, yeah. In fact, my sign in front of the gym just blew over. That's that's never happened before. <laughs> uh, let's get those orange cones. Yeah. See if we can put them out here to make sure nobody goes under underneath that. Put cones there so they got to go around it. I love people, all kind of people. I want to see the American patriots, the American people that love this country, be happy and healthy. When your health goes, this goes. I've been knocked down thousands of times in my life in everything I've done. And I came back stronger than ever. Finish it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. You could've. So no matter how many times you get knocked down, it doesn't matter as long as you get back up and get going again. You get knocked down, you stay down, you're done. Coming up, you got it, you got it. Okay. Good nine or 10? 10. Okay. She's an animal. I was actually a Democrat way back, because my family was, back when Democrats made more sense to me. The Democratic Party is so strong here, and then you get someone like Donald Trump who is really a very different candidate. I mean, we've never seen anything like him before. And I think that scares people. But I think the people who voted for him, they're hopeful. So that night during the election, I sat up until the local news came on. He won Erie, which has not been won by a Republican since the 80s. If things get a little, even just a little bit better, okay, let's give them another four years because maybe it'll get a little bit more better. Okay, go for another minute on that. Watch that clock for one minute, you're done. If things get worse, no. Keep it going. Five more seconds. I got to give him a chance, but I'd still probably, I'm still probably going to go back to independent because I. I don't, still don't agree with a lot of either one of them, and I have my own ideas and try to go with the best person, not the best party. One, 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 one. You got it. Good enough. Okay. Thank you. Nice. And that's it for today.